roof. It's the other side. So mastoid out. <laughs> I've got the sternomastoid on its way. taken out and it will be nice and tidy. See that guy right there? That one is our sternomastoid. I have to look medial for sternomastoid. I'm going to look lateral to external jug in order to be able to find the cledomastoid, which is this one right there. Okay. So you have to go in the hole in order to be able to find it. Now, here, what we need is we need to find your midline position so we can differentiate between the sternothyroid and the sternohyoid. The midline will always give you sternohyoid. If I go lateral to that, then I'm going to find, okay, both of those are together. So that's one, this is one muscle. Oh, so that's like, like you were saying earlier, if you, yeah. if you split them down the middle, is two? Yep. Okay. The sternothyroid got eaten. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> it's over here. See it? It's coming up a little bit here. That one's been cut too. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this guy is going to be your sternal thyroid. So what you do is you hold puffy and traction, go like that. My midline position would be these two. Sternal thyroid. Sternal thyroid and the other sternal thyroid would be there. Can I ask what? Sure. After you pull this, can you go back here again? That is keto master. Okay. So what is this? That's part of the clavo. Everybody. It is. Okay. <laughs> See, this is just one long. Yeah, that whole thing is all of them. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Now coming off of that is going to be the pecto ante, yep. but they didn't give you a good pecto ante. But you will get one. Okay, so pecto ante brachialis is this guy. 
Then we go and you can see your pec major right here. Mm -hmm. Then this guy. <laughs> this guy pec is minor. pec minor. Now, if you wanted to see where it actually goes, Okay, can you see your major? Your minor is here. This is what's left of your Ziffy <laughs> Yeah, we figured that out. <laughs> Deep to that, you're going to find... Serenus. This is all connective tissue. Yep. Wow. And you'll be able to see all of your serratus ventralis. I run so much more. So, if they haven't destroyed them, you'd be able to see the sawtooth. Yep. How did you destroy them? But you can see the outline of mm -hmm. the shape. Mm -hmm. So it's actually like right, is that? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And, uh, but it's not up here though? That's something else? That's something okay. else. Okay. Okay, now under there. <laughs> Right here. This is one of your scalenes. Oh, wow. So that runs all the way up to the yeah. shoulder? Or? Right up to the Clem. first ring. Oh, the first ring. Okay. I'm afraid of getting it too dissected because they'll come off with... Because next time I won't be there? Right. <laughs> but that's a scaling. The other scaling is deep and it's up here. The other one's right over there. What's the origin insertion of the scaling? Sternum. Well, you're going to have to go from sternum, sternum. to... Yeah. Okay. Because you've got to elevate the first rib. Okay. Right, so that's, that's yeah. what we just did earlier. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now. <laughs> External. Wow. That's an odd sound. I want to cut him. <laughs> It's incredibly thin, huh? Actually, it it's is. thicker compared to. And you can see the fibers running downward. If you look real hard, they're going to go that way. I don't know why they created a door. <laughs> <laughs> Instructors do different things, I think. Now, on the second level, you can now see your fibers moving upward for internal movement. What I have to do is I have to make a hole in it.
in case you couldn't see. Yeah, right. Focus. So in my forceps is going to be internal and if I go deep to that I'm going to get transverse. So it's just a very fine layer. Mm -hmm. You can see it right now. That's on that's it on the back of the yep. the internal? Yep. And it does take a little bit of doing so you don't perforate it. I actually you can see it really well. Yeah. So that little piece right here is internal, that's transverse. Okay. Rectus abdominis goes from the sternum, it's right here. See the fibers, they're going to go up and down. It's lying on top of the... Top of the transverse? transverse. Okay. And you can see where it ends. And if you want me to take out the tenderness inscriptions, we can do that. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm lifting up rectus. That's the, oh, okay. So you'll see that when Why is I do that rectus that, and not uh, internal oblique at that like Well, notice internal oh, ends it's, there. It's, that separates the two? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so... Once you see the white... That means transverse is under there. Okay. And then you look for the fibers that are right in the midline mm -hmm. on either side of the linea alba. And this guy that I've got here is going to be rectus of Okay. Then down here... We have sartorius. Mm -hmm. That's the longest muscle in the human body. Okay. Okay. It's right. going That's to go from your anterior superior or your iliac crest all the way down to tibial tuberosity. So it's a very long muscle. So obviously two joint. So sartorius, you can flap that back in both directions. The next one that you've got is the tensor fasciolata. Now, somebody took off your fascia. We were wondering about that. You've got a little piece of it left. So that's the tensor. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we've got the hot dog in the bun. Okay. Yeah. What we now have is you can see vastus lateralis and vastus medialis with the hot dog being rectus femoris. If I wanted vastus intermedius, it's oh, wow. right there. What is that called? Vastus intermedius, that makes up your quads. Okay. So, sartorius, TFL, tensor fascia lava, vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, vastus medialis. Okay, now, we put that back together. Medial thigh, this is going to be gracilis. Okay.
Way down here, that thing is pectineus. There is. As soon as we put a tag on it, it's going to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to worry about this guy. That one is going to be at Dr. Longus. These, and I say these because they'll be split. Yeah. Will be adductor femoris, semimembranosus, Oh, that just opened it up when you did that. Yeah. And then this guy is membranosus. This one is tendinosus. Okay. These on you are on the back of your leg to help the bicep make up your um, hamstrings. Now, over here. I almost saw the instructor missing a couple fingers. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> that kind of day. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when you pick it up, it actually, like, separates almost. And he's like, he's like, oh, where you going? I was like, okay, so, tibialis anterior. He was like, he's asking me, I was like, just kidding. Right there. But there was another kid. Now what you can do is if you look down far enough, you'll be able to see the fibula. The what? Right there. Fibula? Fibula. So, tibialis anterior, going to do dorsiflexion. So. Oops. Not so much. Not so much today. He wants to plant our flex instead. <laughs> So, Priscilla is in here. That piece, yeah. That piece. Um, These are the, uh, what about the bicep? adductor femoris. Okay. Bicep femoris is this guy. Yeah. Bicep brachii is this guy. Yeah. And he's connected right directly to the. Radio to uh, yes, good job. Radio to velocity, yeah. and one little slip attaches to the ulna. Yeah, that actually is a two joint muscle, so it can't work effectively if both joints simultaneously. Yeah, that's the only little bit of business you need on that one. Okay. Is it? Yeah.